With a brand new trailer for Super Mario Bros. Wonder, there's something that it does make me wonder about. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to stop doing this. Okay, so pretty much we've seen some weird things going on with the world of the Flower Kingdom. It looks like that's where this game takes place. But within this kingdom, something weird is going on with Bowser and his minions this time. It seems like there could be some corruption at hand, and we've seen this happen before. But the real question that I want to answer today is what's going on with Bowser Jr. and Bowser? Now, of course, we haven't seen Bowser himself yet, but we've seen Bowser Jr. parts of his castle and also different aspects of Bowser throughout this trailer and things seem to be off. He seems to be changed in some sort of way. So today I am trying to figure out what is going on with this story. Is Bowser just being bad again and found some way to take control and you know have more power or is something controlling him from behind the scenes? But before we get started guys make sure you leave a like and subscribe. It helps a lot and it helps me to continue making these videos. We are almost at 250,000 subscribers the next milestone and we are trying to get 15% of you guys watching this video subscribe. So if you're watching this video, stop what you're doing, leave a like and subscribe. Please, it helps out a lot. But without further ado, let's jump into a theory I have with Bowser and Bowser Jr. in Super Mario Brothers Wonder. Overall, Bowser Jr. and the castles that we've seen so far and even Bowser's airship thing seem to be covered in a dark purple fog and neon green lights that surround it. It's like a new colorway. This purple and green seems to be taking over the entire Bowser Bowser Kingdom and Bowser as well. Well, of course, we haven't seen Bowser, but we've seen statues of him on his own castle, and we've also seen Bowser Jr. in that same colorway applied. Something purple and green. That's really all we have to go off of for the most part. The first thing we can look at and dissect that's very common in this trailer is this thick purple fog. We see these fog clouds come out of a lot of different situations. We see it in the boss battle room against Bowser Jr. We see it even coming out of Bowser Jr.'s mouth. We see it shooting out of Bowser's giant airship machine. And we also see it when the gang gets to the top of the flagpole and Bowser's flag disappears and also his themed house transforms into the themed house of the brand new toad creatures. This fog seems to be a new type of pollutant being spread all over the flower kingdom and corrupting the homes of these toad creatures and maybe even more. And maybe this fog is even polluting or corrupting Bowser and Bowser Jr. and their castles as well. And it's hard to say, but maybe there's some type of frog creature pulling the strings. Now we actually see two enemies in the game that resemble this fog smoke. The first one is a big angry purple cloud with sharp teeth. And it seems to be an obstacle in Mario's way where all he has to do is drop down from the top rail in order to dodge it. Now this doesn't seem like it's an enemy that moves around, but what's interesting is we see another similar creature, which is making me think that there might be multiple different versions of this giant purple cloud. Because the other version we see is a lot smaller with little clouds following behind it that looks like this one does possibly move and chase after the players. It also has the same sharp teeth and the same red and yellow beady eyes, which looks very creepy, which is making me think this might be some type of race or some type of group of enemies that are going to be all over this game. Maybe enemies that do the corruption, the ones that corrupted Bowser and Bowser Jr. Now let's go back to the Mecha Bowser airship and let's look at the eyes. Of course, the eyes are glowing these yellow and pink stripes, almost like it's hypnotized or under some type of spell. We We've seen Mecha Bowser a lot, and it's never really had eyes glow like this. It always had regular pupils. These are definitely glowing in dashed lines, which is weird. Something else to note is that the teeth and the horns are now a greenish color, which is different than obviously Bowser's normal whitish tint of teeth and horns. Once again, that purple and neon green smoke is coming from that airship, so maybe it's polluting the land and dropping some of these enemies as well. But why? Let's go back to Bowser Jr. Once again, this room is covered in that purple smog, and it's even covering Bowser Jr. And yeah, it's coming out of his mouth as well, where his handkerchief normally is. It's actually growing him a giant mouth covered in those purple and neon green colors as well, and making him look monstrous. He now has a green flame where his hair used to be, and his whole body is this blue purple tint now. 
he's definitely under some type of new power and has some type of new energy. Now, I don't know if this is energy that Bowser and Bowser Jr. have found on their own, or are they being corrupted by something else entirely? However, for a very brief second, we get to see Bowser Jr.'s eyebrows, which are also that neon green, and his eyes, which are now a pink purple tint to them. Almost as if, once again, he's being mind controlled, as if something is taking over him. They almost have that same pink glow that we've seen on the Mecha Bowser eyes, but also having that yellow stripe in there as well. So maybe everything underneath Bowser, including Bowser Jr. and all of his castles and airships are being controlled or corrupted by this smoke coming from maybe a brand new enemy. Notice this area isn't owned by anyone else. This definitely is related to Bowser because we can see Bowser's emblem at the top. So whatever they're in right now is Bowser's. It's not like it's being controlled by someone else. But this could easily be a Bowser's Castle area that just had been taken over by another enemy. It's hard to say. And we still have Bowser's symbol in different places. We still have the checkpoint flags like normal, and we have the end goal Bowser flags that we get rid of and replace with ours. So yeah, it's hard to say if this really means anything. This could still just be whatever's corrupting Bowser still has Bowser's symbol and everything. Um, or maybe this is just still Bowser being Bowser, but just found some type of new dark power. And before we make some more connections, let's also talk about Bowser's castle again. It's in the back of the scene with the same purple and neon green color scheme that we've been seeing, and the mouth in different parts of the castle, including the towers on both sides, are moving up and down, which seems to be a wacky version of Bowser's castle, something that we're definitely not used to. I mean, we saw the giant theme park in 3D World, but nothing quite like this. This actually gives me more of a horror, creepy vibe than anything we've ever seen. Okay, theory time. Now, it's not sure if this is just a power that Bowser and Bowser Jr. found and are using, or is this is something entirely different, something that's corrupting them. But I do believe this could be the power of nightmares. This game seems to be built on dreams, as Wonder Flowers put you in weird dreamlike worlds and moments that change everything around you in unrealistic portions, even Mario himself being transformed into crazy objects. So maybe this is a story of good versus evil, but with dreams versus nightmares. And Bowser is trying to spread the nightmare all over the Flower Kingdom, or maybe the nightmare is corrupting him in order to do so. This reminds me a lot of Mario Luigi Dream Team, where Antasma was essentially a big nightmare, trying to spread nightmares all over Pilo Island, and obviously worked with Bowser in order to do so. So maybe Bowser's working along somebody very similar to Antasma, or maybe something like Antasma is corrupting him in order to do this. I just found it weird that we saw these two enemy types that are these purple clouds with sharp teeth, and they resemble the purple small clouds that we keep seeing spread all over the Flower Kingdom from Bowser's airship and from different characters such as Bowser Jr. So what's going on? We're just gonna have to wait and find out, but I think there could be a big bad thundercloud behind this whole thing. What do you guys think is going on? Let me know in the comments down below if you think Bowser just got himself into some dirty work, or do you think there is another antagonist in the background? Let me know in the comments down below, and thank you guys so much for tuning in. Leave a like and subscribe to stay up to date on all things Mario Wonder and Nintendo in general. And maybe, just maybe, the villain is actually this caterpillar. I mean, come on, it's always the one you least expect.